Hi, thanks for watching this video, and thanks for using OurChurch.com's WPEZ website builder. It's WordPress made easy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit and add to the sermons page in the drag and drop church theme that is uh, one of the themes available in WPEZ 2.0. So here we are looking at the default sermons page and it has three sermons that are three sample sermons that are already loaded in so you can see how it works. For each sermon we've got a featured image, a title, a little text description, and then the audio um, which you can play right from this page. Now unlike all the most of the other pages in the drag and drop church theme, the sermons page um, does not have a page template and so we cannot move things around on these on this page and change uh, how things are done here. It is a, a two column layout and that's the way it is with this theme. Um, but we can't what we can do is delete, edit, and add sermons and so I'll show you how to do that. Um, you'll need to go to your WPEZ dashboard and sermons are actually added in the blog. So what we do is we go to more and we go up to blog and here you have a list of all of the blog posts and you'll see that there are three here that are in the sermons uh, category. Okay, So what we're going to do here is what I would encourage you to do um, when you're starting out is go in and um, unpublish them but um, you can delete two of them, but I would leave at least one uh, in there as a sample, uh, an example to you that is unpublished. So if we want to unpublish something, we simply um, go in and edit the post. Um, we come up here to the status, we change it to draft, and um, then we click update. Okay. And um, so we can come back out then to the blog, and we can do that with the uh, the other items that are on here. Um, and so once you have, and you can see here, it's marked as draft. Um, so what you can do then is uh, let me real quick do the same thing for these two so that we have it have them all unpublished. That's number two. And then back in. Edit. Okay, um, and one thing I should uh, note that if um, before we start, before I show you how to add a new sermon, um, if you don't have audio um, of your sermons and you don't intend to put them on your website, you should remove the menu item for the sermons. And to do that, you just go into menus and you'll have to make sure that you're changing the drag and drop church menu and click select and then you can go to sermons uh, click on that item here and remove it okay so we're not going to do that here um, but if you're not going to have sermons on your site then um, that's how you remove the link at the top all right so let's go back in now and add a new sermon item. Okay, so um, you can do it from the blog menu. You can do add new, or you could do it from at the top um, if you want to add a new post. You do it that way. So we'll just go to do that. We put in the title of our sermon. If you want, you may you may want to put the date um, on there. You may not want to. Whatever you choose to do. I'm going to put the date in um, just to make it a little easier. 
and then you might put the sermon title. Let's just say it's called Faith. Um, we might put in a description here, um, Sunday's message about faith, and then um, we can add media. Now, if you have not yet uploaded, uh, you have the option to upload a file, and you can grab a, uh, an MP3 file from your computer that has the sermon in it. Um, I think I've already got some here. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll take a sermon segment here, and we'll insert it into the post. All right. And this is how it looks visually. Okay, now a couple of other settings you're going to want to um, have here. You may want to, um, I like to, when I publish sermons, I like to put in the date and time that the sermon was actually preached. And so you may want to edit that. Um, as long as it's in the past, um, it, there's no harm in uh, putting in a sermon date <coughs> that is different than the current time, and it will show up immediately. So if we wanted a sermon that was from this past Sunday and it was given at 10 a.m. on Sunday, we could put that in. We come down to our um, categories. In this, we want to select uh, sermons. If you want to put tags in, you can do that. You might want to put if uh, somebody else is preaching or the, you might want to put the person who's preaching in there. and then click add and then um, I think it adds some uh, some color and vibrance if you set a feature image for it and again you can upload a featured image or you can go from the media library and um, just to let you know the ideal image size for a featured image is 720 by 530 right now. Now if this changes we'll update the video or put information in there but you should crop or resize your image so that it's 720 by 530 and that will be ideal. Um, for now we will just pick a uh, pick an image here that we've already got in here um, and hit publish all right and now when we come back to our sermons page and we refresh it here is our sermon and we can click and listen to there all right well thank you for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more videos showing you how to edit the drag-and-drop church theme